Welcome to the last In Touch message for 2017. And in this message, let's talk about the power of reflection. You see, in reflection, we are using time to reflect. And when you reflect and you use that time, your mind can go into three spaces. Your mind can either be in yesterday, and when you reflect into yesterday, there might be thoughts in your mind like, I wish I've done that, I wish I've spent more time, I wish I have, I wish I have. Or you might speak about the good old days, I wish we still had that. And when we live in the past, and when we live in yesterday, with our minds constantly reflecting into yesterday, you might get stuck into yesterday, and you might miss the time that is relevant for today. But if you constantly live in yesterday and your mind goes into yesterday, I want to give you a key today that you can use for your yesterday. So in your time of reflection, don't you want to make use of the key of forgiveness? You see, forgiveness is such a powerful act. It's something that we choose to do. When you think about the past and you use the key of forgiveness, you can choose to forgive yourself for everything that you have not done in the past year. Or you can even choose to forgive those people who's done things against you in the year that passed. But please use that key. And if there were good things that I hope there were good things that happened to you in the past, will you take those good memories and take it into today so that it can give you enough energy to build onto tomorrow? In time, we also have the privilege to go into the future. And it's good to allow our minds to go into the future. If you can go into the future to plan and have an expectancy of what is to come in the new year, you are in a good space when you look at tomorrow. If your mind goes into tomorrow and you realize all of a sudden you are swamped with emotions of anxiety and fear of what tomorrow might hold, will you choose to stop? Because the key we have for tomorrow is to live with expectancy. We can live with the expectancy of a good future. And the key for tomorrow is to live by faith. So all we really have in terms of time is to learn how to live in the now. And I trust that the time we are entering into that you will learn how to live in the now. Because the now is the only time we have. The clock is ticking. And when you learn how to live in the now, you really use all your senses. So in this time of reflection that you're going into, May it be a time that you live in the now. I want to end off this talk with a poem that Helen Malicott once wrote. She said, I was living in the past with all the regrets and all the things that took place there. Suddenly the Lord was speaking. He said, when you live in the past with all the regrets and everything that went wrong, I'm not there. My name is not I was. When you live in the future with the fears and anxiety on what may be, you see, I'm also not there. My name is not, I will be. But when you live in this present moment, I am here because my name is, I am. May you have an amazing time of reflection and may we enter into 2018 choosing to live in the moment. May this be a wonderful family time for each one of you. And may you stay in touch because 2018 are going to be an amazing year. Looking forward to be in touch with you again. God bless you.